Hello everyone, welcome to the 24th episode of My Language Commentaries. In this episode, I'll be commenting on No Flowers by Request. Right. Miss Courtney is the only character that says this catchphrase that is by Guan. No other character has said it, at least for the first three seasons. Sir, why don't you bear us here, Doctor? I am going tonight after lessons. <laughs> Hang on, didn't you say you don't like doctors because one unalive your uncle in Madrid? I am going to be sick. Holy ravioli! <laughs> you changed your religion! The same joke that was used in the very first episode where he said when Randy tells Mr. Brown I am sick and Mr. Brown thought that he is S-I-C-K, not S-I-K-H. Once he said he is S-I-C-K, not S-I-K-H. 98.4 <laughs> I think he meant 98.4 Fahrenheit because at that time Fahrenheit is still is still widely used until now. Now is now Celsius is more commonly used compared to Fahrenheit. Yes, it is, and up to now it's the only thing that's working in this classroom. I said yes. <laughs> Oh, bird! He called his all his students not working. That's how much is a television license? I'm not knowing. I never buy one. <laughs> Hang on, how do you even get your television in the first place if you don't have a license? That sometimes puzzles me, Ali. Which recent King of England was never crowned? Edward Trukov Vincer. Good. To be honest, I'm not surprised Ali and, and, and Anna knows this knowledge because she's one of the smartest and hardworking students in this class. Of course she would know this general knowledge, be living in England for a few years already? Or several years, I am not so sure. They have the mace. Yes. Uh, to eat the cheese. <laughs> he mistook mace for mice. Can you name three of the plays Shakespeare wrote? Romeo and Juliet. Good. As you like. That's the only one she knew. I thought she was interested in more of these Shakespeare's plays. And wasn't one of the Shakespeare plays, uh, uh, what do you call that? The other the one that Ali mentioned. Uh, Shylock, yes, she should have mentioned Shylock because that was mentioned in the previous season by Ali. One more. I do not know anymore. Well, I'll give you a clue. King Kong. I think he's referencing the play Hamlet. But yes, yeah, <laughs> Guan doing the King Kong thing was quite funny too. Poetry. Poetry. Right, who wrote? To be fair, I think Javina should have picked poetry because she's a, she's a huge fan of poetry. In fact, she's the biggest fan of poetry in this entire class. It's a poem by Wordsworth. I'll ask you another. Who wrote To a Field Mouse? Wordsworth? Isn't that, isn't that the same guy who wrote the poem I Wonder as a Lonely Cloud the, in Season 1, Episode 12? Who was Samson? Victor Mature. Isn't that the actor for that character? Is that the authorised version? It is what I'm BC on telly. Thank you, Jamila. At least Jamila knew more about the, the to topic than other students like Max. Hey, professor. I never heard of them. <laughs> Are they a punk or a rock group? Are those the two genres Giovanni enjoys? Rock and punk? Any more? Yes. What can you tell me about Handel's Largo? Not much. <laughs> I never drink the stuff. I think the joke was because when he said Hansel Lager, he, Giovanni thought that he, he's talking about some lager of like uh, some form of alcohol. So that's why he made that joke. What is the capital of England? E. <laughs> Technically, he's not wrong because England starts with E. Who was known as the Black Prince? Mohammed Arif. Well, in, in popular culture at that time, I don't think that is a wrong answer. But he's talking about who's the black prince in British history, not in common, you know, how do you say that? Pop culture. No, China not invent rubbish. That's true because when, chi when China wakes up, she or he will change the world. That's what Napoleon said. Do you know anything about British uh, customs? Plenty, plenty. Oh, good. First, you have uh, green or red. Green or red what? British custom. <laughs> Do you have something to declare? You go on the red. <laughs> Nothing to declare? Green. No one. See, I know. Technically, he's not wrong because when you think of British custom, people think that, oh, is it the green? You can go? No, I have something to declare. 
but like let's say other countries custom you will think oh this is the when i wish when i go visit the country and this is where i must if i have nothing to declare i go on green and if i have something to declare i go on red it means the things that we british do that are peculiar to us ah speak english <laughs> and doesn't the united states canada australia new zealand and several other countries like india speak english too I don't know. It's not just peculiar to England though. Several other countries in the world have official have English as the official language. Ah, any more? Yes, afternoon tea, cricket, the boat race. Good boy. Any more? Bobber job week, Chelsea flip. Look, I'm supposed to be asking you the question. <laughs> so I literally play his his usual card, manipulating other people to get what he want. Smart one. Smart. <laughs> Break his leg if he only missed one step. Stepped he missed. Top step. <laughs> Ouch! That might hurt. That must hurt so badly. Well, in future, can you remember that you are a student nurse, not a geisha girl? Well, that's a kind of insulting to Japanese people, isn't it? Isn't that? Isn't it? Isn't Obviously, nurse doesn't like her superior sister. Shudder to think what they're doing without me. <laughs> Obviously, arguing. Name me two seasons. Uh, salt and pepper. <laughs> if the question was seasonings, you're right. But this question is seasons, not seasonings. <laughs> what does AC mean? Uh, four. AC has nothing to do with four. Sure. AC spade, AC hot, AC diamond, AC. I have no idea what Guan is talking about, but. If I was asked what is AC, I would have said air conditioning and not alternating current because AC is very common short, short, short form for air conditioning. I don't suppose you can give me the name of any other sort of current? Sure, black current. <laughs> That's a flavor, not a current. I am talking about electricity. AC is alternating current, DC is direct current. Okay. Once again, I don't understand why you're asking a physics qu physics question. This is supposed to be an English class, not a physics class. You are also rather stupid. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> you are on a train going to Glasgow. Why am I going to Glasgow? Doesn't matter why. I know you want to you want to give job a good beating, don't you? You want where is St Paul's? St Paul's what? <laughs> St Paul's Cathedral. I do not know. It's somewhere in London, I think. It is near Ludgate Circus. Have you ever been to Ludgate Circus? No, but I have been to Billy Smart Circus. Now my question is, again, why are you asking geography questions to the students? You are all Philistines. For those wondering what is a Philistine, I think Philistine is someone who is hostile to the local culture and norms. That's what I read online. I never realized this was in outside the classroom the whole time. Or was it just for this episode? Mr. Brown, uh, could I have the Christian name, please? Sure, Juan. Okay, first of all, why didn't you say that I am this person? You didn't introduce yourself. <laughs> Juan is Spanish for John, isn't it? Si, senora. Will you hold on a moment, please? <laughs> Mr. Brown's Christian name is Jeremy, not Quo John. I don't know what you mean. It's so tragic. Taken so young. It's terrible. It's from this scene, from this scene, you can tell that Miss Connie is not already. It's not actually a heartless person. She actually still shows care, even though she doesn't like men. Even when someone passes, she knows passes. She still displays some form of. She still mourns for him. If you know, even said it was mourning him. If you know what I mean. <laughs> They all thought that he came back from the dead. I mean, I don't understand how the f family and relatives of Mr. John Brown will notice foreigners, foreign people following them behind. I mean, I wonder how would they have felt when they realized they would have realized, oh, I don't know these people. Why are they following us? How did they forget that they are on the downward slope? And now Mr. Brown broke another of his leg. So he broke both his legs. What? We already bought them for your funeral. <laughs> 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 I 
I wonder if they did the same treatment to him when Barry Evans, Mr. Brown's actor, actually passed, actually passed in, passed in real life. Yeah, but that that's another story. But yes, Barry even Barry Evans' death is quite tragic if you ask me. Well, thank you for watching this episode of my language commentaries. As promised, I will try. As I said before, I will try to finish season two by the end of this week. Thank you for watching, and I see you soon. Bye bye.